Okay, so <gasps> everyone in here is looking at me like I'm crazy because I'm carrying around a magic eight ball. I kind of want to throw up now, bro. This stupid magic eight ball is making me get shit done and I don't like it. Yeah. Today I'm letting a magic eight ball control my life for a day because you know, lately my life has just been so downhill that I can barely control my own life. So we're letting the magic eight ball do it today. Anyways, unboxing. Oh. God. My weak, small, little, frail wrist can't get this open. I'm like fingering the package in order to open it. I am not good at opening things. If you don't know how a magic eight ball works, um, why not? Do you live under a rock, sweetie? Get that together, get that fixed. You're supposed to ask it a question and it's supposed to give you an answer. For example, am I going to die alone? It is certain because of course it is. I want to get out of the house today and this is controlling my life. You already know that. Let's ask it another question. Should I go to Dunkin' Donuts? It says Outlook good. I'll take it. Let's go to Dunkin'. Let's go. Ooh, there's bird poop on my car. What's up, homies? Homies? Dap me up, bro. Dap me up. Like, don't come up to me and dap me up. You know what I mean? Cause I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna have a panic attack and fall on the floor. Cause I don't know what that means. Magic eight ball. Should I get food from Duncan? Okay, she said no. So, I guess we're not. Should I get an iced caramel latte from Duncan? She said yes. All right, I'll see you at Duncan. Duncan. Can I get a medium iced caramel latte? Can I get extra caramel in that please? The 504. Okay, hey, thank you. I need to get my oil changed, dude. I have not gotten my oil changed in like eight months. It's bad. And my car is probably going to explode soon. Thank you. The receipts are pink. That's like really cool. It kind of looks like my speeding ticket I got. Oh my God, this looks so juicy and delicious and I can't wait to shove this inside me. I think me not hanging out with anybody for a while has made me a lot weirder. If all these cars would get out of my way, that'd be great. That would be amazing. <laughs> They made it so good today. Wow, that's great. But like I was saying, I have no oil in my car and it's a problem. It's like so expensive to get your oil changed and I hate doing it because it's always so uncomfortable whenever I go into one of those car mechanic places and I never know what I'm saying or doing. Magic 8-Ball, should I get my oil changed today? Why is it not showing me an answer? Bruh, I low-key wanted her to say no. Unfortunately, she said yes. Let's go get an oil change. I don't know if I'm supposed to pull in or not. I feel so uncomfortable. Do I just pull in? I'm getting my oil changed right now and I was wondering if you could send me a picture of any like coupons or discounts. Hopefully my dad sends me a coupon so I can pay my car note this month. I don't know how to release my hood, wait. Okay, I think I did it. This stupid magic eight ball is making me get shit done and I don't like it. I'm just glad it told me no to get new tires because I was not doing that today. We got our oil changed. I'm wondering what we should do next. But after a long, hard day of running errands, maybe I should do self-care. So should I do a face mask today? This thing fucking sucks. It's not even giving me any answer. No wonder it was so cheap. It said most likely. Should I go to Target to get the face mask? As I see it, yes. <laughs> Everyone in here is looking at me like I'm crazy because I'm carrying around a magic eight ball. I don't know which ones I want. I kind of want like not a fruity one. So I decided to go with this face mask, but we have to ask the eight ball if this is the one I should go with. Should I go with this face mask? Y'all, it said very doubtful. So I guess I'm not going with this face mask. Dude, what is happening with my hair? I look like I got electrocuted. On my way to pick out a new face mask since it doesn't want me to go with this one. Okay, we're trying this one. Should I go with this face mask? Period, we're going with this. Target haul. Let me show you what I got. I did get that face mask, five bucks. And then I also got two energy drinks. People were looking at me like I was cuckoo in the head bonkers whenever I was just shaking a ball. They were like, is he mentally well? <laughs> And the answer is no. I'm getting to the point of the day where I'm hungry and irritable, so let's ask what I should eat. I kind of want a corn dog. Should I get a corn dog? Should I get sushi? Ask again later. Should I get a corn dog? Without a doubt. Corn dog time. Oh! So I'm going to cookout to get this corn dog. Have you ever had cookout? If you haven't had cookout, you're missing out on the holy grail. Cookout's food is so inexpensive and it's so good. It's like $2 for a corn dog. Like, yes, the food is really cheaply made, but like that's part of the experience. <gasps> I just hit the biggest pothole of my life. 
I was gonna go inside to order, but um, I saw people my age in there, and I was like, fuck it, I'm going through the drive-thru. Can I just get a corn dog? That's what I imagine a bomb looks like. She gave me mustard and ketchup. If you eat mustard on your corn dog, um, there's a special place in hell for you. Oh, 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 oh corn dog. Uh, oh, they burned the tip. Oh, bitch. Nothing like a good greasy corn dog. <laughs> Especially when you wash it down with the sugary iced coffee. You get the best of both worlds. Yeah. I'm really living the life here. Bruh. This whole parking lot is empty and someone just decided to pull up right beside me. But on top of that, my windows are not tinted. I'm a little fish and this is my fishbowl and you're invading my fishbowl with your eyes, ma'am. Yeah! Yeah! Okay, so I did eat a corn dog. However, I am a hungry hungry hippo and I'm still hungry. Should I eat sushi for dinner? Most likely. For the most part, the magic eight ball is like working with me pretty well. Let me see if there's any sushi nearby. Hi, um, can I place a to-go order? My name's Cameron. What can I order? Oh, um, can I get two spicy salmons, please? Maybe ten minutes. Okay, thank you. Okay, so <gasps> <laughs> Thank God for lids. It could have been a lot worse. So we got the goods, so it's time to go home and devour this. Hey, oh, can you see my crotch? Let me put my leg down. Let's do our little face mask. Where is my magic eight ball? This looks like um, one of those applesauce packets. I just wanna, mm, mm. Feel like a seal or something? Clap if you know how to open this. It smells like paint. Whoa, it looks kind of slay though. It looks kind of cool. I feel like I'm in a commercial. New Home Depot paint. Let me get myself together. That looks like jizz. <laughs> I'm so ready to eat the sushi. Look how good she looks. Sushi unboxing. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, the smell of this face mask and the sushi is like not going well together. I kind of want to throw up now. Mmm. The sushi's bomb though. This was so much fun. I'm so happy I have sushi now. I'm gonna go watch some YouTube and devour this. So there's something about a face mask and a sushi platter that just really ends my night on a high note. I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.